Indian Secretary General Ban Ki-moon finishes his second term at the end of this year, CCTV sat down with the outgoing UN chief for an exclusive interview. He talked about the UN Security Council and South Korean politics. The Security Council, you mentioned it, operates on a consensus model. One country is able to overrule the other four. With Syria and other conflicts in mind, do you think that that model now needs to be rethought quickly? Yes, when Security Council members are united, they could become very strong and to deliver what is necessary for those people who need. But often, we have seen Security Council has been paralyzed and because of this decision-making process, not to mention veto power held by five permanent members of the Security Council. The other decisions are normally uh, should be taken by full unanimity. Uh, in such a case, not to mention the adopting resolution, but they cannot even adopt the presidential statement or even press statement. That really paralyzes the Security Council. In the meantime, when they are paralyzed, it's the people on the ground uh, whose human rights are not uh, protected. Mr. Bun, if the people of South Korea want you to lead them, will you do so? Well, I'm not in a position to say anything publicly at this time. Uh, I have been <coughs> closely watching the, what has been uh, happening in uh, Korea, my home country. Uh, I have seen uh, many uh, millions of people expressing their anger and frustration at the lack of good governance. Uh, and there has been some question of um, some leadership, uh, inclusive leadership. But I'm also proud, on the other hand, the way international community has been looking to uh, Korea as a successful model of uh, economic uh, progress the development and democratic maturity in such a short period of time. So Korean people uh, should be very proud of what they have achieved. But now that uh, they are experiencing such uh, very difficult political uh, turmoil, I am hoping that uh, they will uh, use this occasion as a way to look back what has uh, happened, why uh, all these uh, things have gone wrong. Um, but more importantly, look for the better future, how they can make sure that they build better functioning institutional uh, mechanisms based on their wisdom and resilience and the democratic uh, maturity.